Hello, my name is Katie and I'm a professional makeup artist and today I'm going to show you how to apply red lipstick for your wedding day. One of the first things I want to talk about is the undertone of the lipstick. There's basically two different undertones you're going to find with reds, either blue or orange. And some people tell you, stay away from orange, it's no good. But I disagree. I think that if your teeth are really white and you have the right skin tone, maybe auburn hair, go with orange red, why not? It's very classic, kind of retro. But if you really want your teeth to look extra white, blue undertones tend to do that. And if it's your wedding day, you probably want to go with a blue undertone. So I've got on my hand here two different colors of red. The bottom one is more of a blue tone, and the top one is more of an orange tone. So today, we're going to use the blue tone. And we're going to start, though, by prepping the lips. Then we're going to line the lips. And then we're going to apply the lipstick. And yes, we're going to use a brush. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you why we do all these things. So the very first product we're going to use is MAC Prep and Prime. There are a lot of different primers out there. And I always recommend use a primer for your foundation, use a primer for your lashes, and use a primer for your lips. Because primers basically are the foundation of makeup. And you know, think about painting at home. If you were painting your walls, would you just go home and start painting them? No, you'd put a primer on first because you want your paint to look smooth, you want it to last, and that's exactly what a lip primer does. This is a little bit of silicone in it, so what it's going to do is fill in all those tiny cracks and crevices so that your lip products are gonna sit smooth on top of them. It has a really slick, glossy feel, so I like to kind of rub my lips together and then give it a couple seconds, maybe 20 seconds, to kind of solidify in your lips. And then we're gonna go in with our lip liner. Now I have two liners we're gonna be using today. Since this is a really crisp, bold lip, you wanna make sure that the area around your lips before you start lining it is free from imperfections. So we have a concealer liner, and we're just gonna go in, and we're gonna clean up the lip area so that any discoloration is smooth and that it's not distracting from this really hot, red lip that we're going to do. I just like to blend it gently with a brush. You could use a sponge or your finger. Just like that. Really simple. Now, lip liner is a lot like um, lip primer. It's going to help the lipstick last. It's double-sided tape, if you will, for your lipstick. So instead of just lining your lips, you're actually going to want to fill in your whole lip um, using the side of the brush like so. You can just brush back and forth to get a little sweep of color across the lips. Then what you're going to do is you're going to start in one corner and using short, firm strokes like so, you're going to trace the lip. What I like to do though, and a trick I learned, is instead of going from point A to point B, stop in the center of the lip, pick up, your, pick up your liner, go over to the other side, and then fill in the other half. Because you're gonna get a more symmetrical application of the liner if you do the same thing on each side versus starting at one side and trying to create the perfect shape. We're going to do the same thing on the upper lip. Instead of going from one corner to the other, you might start in the outer corner and come to here and then go from the other outer corner and then come to here or vice versa, but never all the way across. So we're going to start in the center. This is definitely preference, you know, where you want to start. And then we're going to trace downwards, little short strokes, and then fill in. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we still haven't even put on lipstick. And you can always go back and correct a mistake. Give me one sec, step in and check. Have your lips together? Just, you know.
So now that we've applied the lip liner to the complete lip and it's in perfect shape, it's time to go on with our lipstick. We're going to be using one of my favorite reds, which is um, Makeup Forever number no. 8. And since we're working in a professional studio, I'm going to scrape a little bit of lipstick off. Um, if you're at home, you could just work directly off the lipstick. But I always recommend using a lip brush when you're doing a bold lip color. Because if you're not using a lip brush, you're going to get rounded corners. You know, you can't apply it sharply without a precise tool. So what we're going to do, I'm going to come in and we're just going to start layering this on right over our lip liner. Now, if you're wearing red though for your wedding, realistically, you're going to want to wear a long wearing lipstick. So I would recommend um, either MAC long wear, pro long wear, or um, one of the long wearing Bobbi Brown lipsticks because when you kiss your man, it's going to get all over the place if you're not wearing long wear. But if you're switching to your reception or if this is for the groom's dinner or some other function, you could still use one of these because once they set, they don't come off that much on the hand. And that is how you apply and wear red lipstick for your wedding. Thanks for watching. For more great tips, click on the links. And if you have a special request, send us an email at requests at mahalo.com. See you next time.